Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Before you begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should and shouldn't do. Then you'll want to have water that you drink before, during, and after our time together. Also, you'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothing like Bath and Carol and I so that when you move, you're not restricted at all. You want to work at your own pace. If we're working too quickly for you, you slow right down. If we're working too slowly for you and you can increase the pace in a safe manner, you go right ahead because you want to do your very, very best. And being consistent in exercise is what keeps us nice and strong, not to mention eating a good, nutritious meal plan. Also, you don't want to push or bounce. If we're doing a stretch and our hands are at our knees, you don't want to bounce, bounce, bounce to get your hand at your knee too. Just be happy that you are where you are because we're happy you are where you are. So today, we're going to be working with some bottles that we're going to fill up. This just has water in it so it's clear. We have bottles that have a little liquid. We have bottles that have a little more liquid. And we have bottles that have different levels of liquid. We've put food coloring into them so we know which ones are our heavier ones and our lighter ones. So before you go get your bottles, let's meet our friend Beth. Hi. I like to visit friends and I like to travel. In fact, my husband and I used to do a show on SCTV called Off the Beaten Path. That is great. That is absolutely terrific. We had a great time doing it. Great. And you were a volunteer? Yes. Oh, good, because SCTV is always looking for volunteers. Thank you, Beth. And here's Carol. Hi, I'm Carol. I like to dance, I like to read, I like to watch TV, but I really love to exercise. Yay, Carol! Okay, so while you're going to get your jar, and it can be anything, it can be an old juice jug, it can be a water container, it can be anything, but you'll want to make sure that you have two, one which is a little heavier and one which is a little lighter. It can be an old soda bottle, and of course, soda's not very good for you, but you could empty all your soda out and then fill it up, and then the stronger you get, like tomorrow or the day after, or a week from now, when you're feeling a little stronger, you can add more liquid to it, and that will make you a heavier weight. But say you go out and you're raking leaves or shoveling snow or mowing the lawn and you come back in and you find that uh, you're not as strong as you were the last time, you can just empty a little out. So you can make these weights exactly according to what you need. So while you're going to get your bottle, let's hear a health tip from Nancy. Hi, I'm Nancy Dean and I work at UConn Health Center in the Center on Aging. Currently, I work on two flu studies. I'd like to give you some tips to stay healthy during flu season. If you're in the mall, try to wear gloves if you need to use an elevator or an escalator. Or if you don't have those and you get to your car, try to keep this in your car. It's a hand sanitizer. Wash your hands as soon as you get in your car. If you're making a visit to a hospital to visit a loved one, Wash your hands before you see the patient and wash your hands before leaving the patient. You don't want to give any germs to the patient and you don't want to leave with any germs. In the community, when you're pumping gas, that's another place where germs may live. So also please try to wear your gloves or use your sanitizer. And at home, once a week, take a Clorox wipe to your doorknob, your your remote control, and your cell phone. That's all for today, and thank you. Great. Okay, are you ready, my friends? Ready. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to want to warm our muscles and our joints up before we do our exercises. We're going to start just by tapping the toes. So our heels are down and we're lifting the toes up. This is working the muscles on the sides of the shin. So you may find this really feels on the shin. Good job. Let's add our fingers. 
our chests are high and our shoulders are back and down and boy we feel terrific because we all had good breakfast right right all right just checking now we're going to hold our hands flat and just lift the heels great now you're going to feel this on the back of the leg on your calf because those muscles have to tighten up to pull that heel right up and we're going to pick up the heels of our hands there you go that's great excellent kind of looks like we're riding a horse doesn't it mm -hmm. <laughs> We're sitting nice and tall, there you go, and now we relax our hands completely and our feet. We lift our toes up and go out and in, and out, and in. Good job, that's it. Very nice. Now we're sitting at the edge of our chair and we've looked around our environment to make sure that when we're working with our weights, we don't hit anything like the chandelier above, or a lamp on the side, or a sleeping dog or cat right below us. And we're in a good sturdy chair, one without rollers or one without anything. And we hold our toes flat and we lift the heels up and out. Good. There you go. Perfect. This is excellent. And you're doing great. Beth and Carol and I are very happy you joined us today. You're going to be happy you did too because I promise not to sing or tell jokes. How's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's come right back to center. So we really warmed the ankles up a little bit. So now we're going to go right up to the hands and the wrists. So we bring our wrists out and in. We make little circles. Good. Now what does this remind you of doing? Anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what it reminds me of doing. When I was a little girl, it was my job to get the Crisco out of the can, to put in the baking tin, and then shake flour around it. And I had to really go right down to the end. Ooh. Yes, and now we'll go in reverse to make sure we got all that Crisco. That is when people cooked with Crisco. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, great job. And let's relax those hands down because we need our hands ready to wrap around our weight. Now, if it's hard for you to hold on to a weight, you could always have a glove and that will make it easier to hold on to the weight because some people have a difficult time. Also, you could get something like a face cloth to hold on to the weight. So you can use different things just so you don't have an excuse that you couldn't work out with us, if you know what I mean, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna exercise our neck. We did our feet, we did our hands, we're going right up to the head. So we're gonna turn our heads and look that way, then back to center, and then over the other way, and back to center, good work. And that way, back to center, and that way. One more time, please. We turn and feel that gentle stretch, come back to center, and then turn the other way and back to center. And I have to tell you, I really like what Beth did because Beth turned a little, and then when she did it the third time, you really turned your head. So let's do that one more time. We're gonna turn a little this way as far as we can go, come back to center, and turn a little this way. That's excellent, and slowly come back to center. You did a great job. Now we're gonna lift the chin up a little, and drop the chin. So when we lift the chin up a little, we don't want to look like we're arrogant or anything, if you know <laughs> what I mean. But you will feel better and you will feel more confident when you work out and when you eat well. It's kind of a combination. Also, it's really important to hang around fun people, which is I'm hanging around Beth and Carol because they are fun people. And then relax the head straight. Now we're going to our legs. So we're going up, down, up, down, up, down. We're going to go to our knees. We're going to take this foot and just tap the heel forward and bring it right back. And then the other one, tap it forward and right back. Good job. Now all the time, we know we're working our legs. So we're going to feel it in this muscle right here. That's your quadricep. But also you want to hold the tummy in and you want to keep the chest nice and tall and you want to hold your head right up to the sky just like there were a star attached to it and it was lifting it high. Now when you were dancing, what did your instructor tell you to hold your head up high? You had to make sure that your core was straight and strong and look up and just relax. Wow, that's a lot to do and you had to relax? Wow. Relax in your mind. Oh, I like that. Can you do that? Relax in my mind. <laughs> That must be something that requires great training. <laughs> great job. 
So all these little hints are how to stay nice and tall while another part of your body is working. Good work. Then come back to center. So we got our knees, so we're gonna go to our elbows. Our hands are relaxed down by our sides. We just bring our fingertips right up to our shoulders and relax down. So this is nice and easy, and this is a good exercise to do because we're always picking things up. Bags of groceries, children, small refrigerators, <laughs> So we wanna have nice, strong arms. Great job. Then we're gonna relax the hands down. Ah. So we've moved the joint of the ankle, the joint of the knee, now we're going the joint of the hip. So we're gonna really have to pull our tummies in. If it's hard on your back, you can take a pillow and put it behind your back because you do want your buttocks towards the edge of the chair. That will help you keep your stomach and your back working to keep you in good, tall posture. Okay, so we're gonna lift one leg and then the other. We're gonna lean back a little, and this will help us a lot. So if you're all the way to the back of the chair, leaning back's gonna be difficult. So here we go. We're gonna lean back and lift the leg good and down. And you can lift the leg just to the degree that it's comfortable for you. Now, by the way, I'm feeling a little in my stomach. Are you feeling that at all? Yes. Good, good. There you go. That's great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Perfect. So we're leaning back and we're working the joint of the hip as we lift that knee up. We're also working the muscles right on the thigh and a little bit in the tummy too. Excellent, good job. Then we're gonna relax those muscles and we're gonna work our shoulders. So we got our hips on our lower body, we're gonna work the shoulders. So we're gonna place the hands right here and we're gonna drop our hands so we have like a 90 degree or a right angle. Okay, sitting nice and tall, we're gonna bring this arm up and out to the side and down. Great job. Other arm, excellent, excellent, that's great. We look like the little tin man on the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the tin man. Okay, now we're going bent elbow, and you'll notice that Beth was extending her arm a little more. I was just gonna compliment you on that. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Now try both elbows, up and down. We sit nice and tall, our bellies are in, our heads are high, and boy, we feel great. There you go. Last time, you're done. Phew. Now we're gonna take our hands and bring them right by our shoulders. Our palms are gonna face our ears and our elbows are right by our ribs. We're gonna reach up a little bit and down. Up and down. Great. So, Carol and Beth and I are all reaching up at different levels. You can reach high, just as high as you can go, you might have one shoulder that shoots right up to the sky and you might have another shoulder that doesn't quite have that flexibility. That's okay, as long as you're moving because we don't want frozen shoulders, right? Great, last time. And relax. Well, I'm feeling pretty good. How about you? I'm feeling yes. great. Are you ready to grab your lighter weight? Sure, I'll grab sure. our lighter weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This will be my lighter weight. Good. So I'm going to hold it in one hand, bringing the hand on by the side, belly in, chest high, hand on the other leg for a good base of support. We're going to curl it right up to our shoulders. Make sure the cap is on tight, like otherwise you're going to have like a big wet spot right here. Here we go. Curl up and down. Two. Good job. I can see your elbows are down just like Carol and Beth's and mine are. Your elbows are down. Now, when you have a liquid like this, can you feel it kind of pull your arm back when you come up? Yeah, so we have a lot of different things going on here. It's not just weight training. Uh-uh, down and up. And one more time, you're done. Good job. Put it in the other hand. Let's stretch out the fingers and the arm. Our fingers are wide, our chests are high and we feel just terrific. Don't you feel great? Well, on one side, you feel good on one side. Okay, let's try the other side. Base of support, beautiful long spines, hand down by your side. The thumb leads up to the shoulder. Great job, good. You're doing great, excellent. I can feel it go glug, glug, glug. Sounds you like the go, ocean. Yeah, like, it sounds like the ocean. That is a good idea. So it should be very it's soothing. Very, yeah, I like that. Very soothing. I love that. 
I wasn't thinking about the ocean. But that's good. I was thinking of when I have to make my frozen orange juice. I <laughs> shake it in this container. It goes boom, boom, boom. Great. Last one and down and two and down. So we're going to put it in the other hand. Stretch and reach our fingertips out because our fingers have been wrapped around that. Good job. So while it's in this hand, we're going to put it right by our shoulders, really making sure that cap is screwed on tightly. And up we go. Up and down. So if reaching directly over your shoulder bothers you, you can bring the weight slightly ahead. Good work. That's it. Down and up. Now, if it's hard for you to figure out how to breathe, breathe out as you push it up. Good. Good. And one more time. And you are done. Boy, I could feel that one. Could you yes. feel that yeah. a little yes. bit? Yeah. You can feel it on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stretch and we're going to take this hand and we're going to reach down, 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 relaxing that shoulder completely. Good work. That's it. Beautiful and relax. Other side. Remember, before we do any exercise, we check our posture. Belly in, or you can fluff out your shirt. That's what I do. <laughs> Chest is high, shoulders are down. Up we go. Up and down. And you'll notice that neither Beth nor Carol nor I am snapping the elbow. Neither one of us are snapping the elbow. We're reaching up as high as we can. Now I can tell you, I know I have four more, but my shoulder's getting tired, so I'm not going to go up as high. Two, but everybody goes at their own height. Three, good job. Last one, you're done. Transfer it and reach down and just shake out that hand, relaxing the shoulder. Great job. Now, believe it or not, with our weight, we can work our lower body too. So we're just going to stabilize it. We're going to pull our bellies in, chest high, shoulders back and down, and don't forget to curl up the corners of those mouths. We're going to lift this leg eight times. Are you ready? Pull the bellies in. You might want to lean back a little. One, two, good. Three, you got it. Four, very nice. Five, six, seven, and last one, eight. Boy, eight. I could really feel that one. Whoa. Could you feel yes, number eight? Right up, yeah. right up there, exactly, <laughs> right here. So we're going to stretch that leg out and kind of rub this muscle, telling it we are so sorry. But having good, strong thighs lets you go up and down stairs easier, getting in and out of a chair. Any way we can make our life easier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side. There's a trick to working with a weight on your leg. If it's towards your knee, it's going to be harder. If it gets a little hard, you can slide your bottle in towards your hip, and that makes it easier. So it's just a trick. I know I shouldn't tell Carol and Beth, because you watch them and make sure they don't do it. Are you ready? We're going for eight. Here we go. One, two, three. Good job. Four. You've got it. Five, six. Seven's hard. Seven. Eight's harder. Yes! Yay! Woo -hoo! Let's get a nice stretch. That was excellent. I'm glad you joined us. And isn't it wonderful to hear everybody go, ah, because that's probably exactly how you feel. <laughs> Great. Now we're going to take our leg, and instead of lifting it up, we're going to tap it out to the side a little bit, again with the weight. Nice tall posture. And we go. Out and in. Two. Good job. Three. And four. So just four more. We've got four and three. And two, and one, you're done. And just let that knee roll out. The reason that I'm counting on the show is because Carol's a dancer and she is always on beat. So when I'm teaching, <laughs> if I get off beat, and of course, Beth always has bright colors, so I always look to Beth and she makes me smile. Here we go. Long, beautiful spines, tapping out and in for eight. Out a little and in. Maybe a little more. Good job. Out and in. And again, our posture is nice and tall and we feel terrific. Three more. And two. And one. Good job. And just let it relax out a little bit. We did a good job. Now, we're going to work our stomachs. Now, a lot of people Whoa, think... Oh, I need that. Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we really need to be at the edge of our chairs. So we're going to use our weight. But this time we're going to hold it sideways. Make sure you don't unscrew that top. There you go. Okay. Are you ready? As we lean back, and when we lean back, we're going to lean back from our hips. I'll just show you from the side. So our belly is tucked in, so our back is nice and flat, especially the low back. And we keep our chin parallel to the floor, and then we come up. So, pull the bellies in, lift the chest up, and as your arms go out in front and you lean back, drop your chin a little bit, and then the weight comes to you. Very, very nice. Excellent. This is a great way to work your stomach because when you do this and you work your stomach, it's also very protective of the low back. You lean back until you feel your stomach tighten up. Lean back until you feel the stomach tighten up. Now, if you'll notice, Beth is making it a little harder, so that means Carol and I have to join Oh, it. Beth. Oh, man. So bring it back with you. Oh. So bringing it back with you makes it a little harder. Thank you, Beth, for sharing that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> <I'm in> trouble. <laughs> Back we go. So when we bring the weight back, we really feel that stomach tighten up. We're very careful not to arch our back. That's why our chin is dropping a little bit. There you go. And last one, you're done. Did okay. you feel that a little bit? Yes, that's a tough one. And it gets your stomach. But we can't always work just on the, the center of the stomach. So we have to work the sides too, because sometimes we lean back to reach for something, or we lean back and push something up. So we sometimes need the sides. Here's what we're gonna do for the sides. We're gonna bring our weight in front of our chest. We're gonna lean back until our stomachs go, whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna look straight ahead, but we're gonna bring our water or our weights over to one side and then the other. Good job. But we're looking straight ahead. And we feel terrific and our stomachs are so happy. Mm -hmm. They are very happy. That feels good. Doesn't that feel yes. good? So while you're leaning back, you'll notice that I'm only going a little, but Carol's going a little bit more. And so what Beth and Carol and I are going to show you is you go at your own pace, you do what you can, and you smile. Always smile. Always smile. That's right. So we're showing you different ways of getting the sides of the stomach. I think I'm tired of this. How about you? Okay. We can take a break. Can we do something else? Yes, we can take a break. Okay. One of the things we can do is use our weight for both flexibility and strength. Okay. So we're going to put one hand on the thigh and we're going to drop this right down between our legs. Then we're going to take the hands. There you go. And you're going to stretch right up to the sky. Then you're going to come down, grab your weight, and just bring it to your shoulder. Good. Down and stretch up to the sky. Good. Down and bring the bottle to your shoulder. Drop it down on the floor. The free hand lifts to the sky. Drop it down to the floor. Bring it up to your shoulder. One more time. Down. Lift. And then just come center. Now you'll notice that Beth was making a bigger move, so if you wanted to work a little harder, you could follow Beth. Okay, other side. We come down. We bring the weight to our shoulder. We come down, and we sweep the hand way up. Good job. Down, bring the weight to our shoulder. So what this is helping us do is bend down and be able to pick things up. Good job. Bring it to the shoulder. Good job. Down. Sweep right up to the sky. Great, great. Down. I like this one. Shoulder. Isn't this a nice yeah, one? Yeah, this is nice. Well, as a dancer, you're like, ta-da! <laughs> that wide. must be <laughs> it. That <laughs> must be it. <laughs> Good. One more to the shoulder. And last one. Ta-da! Ta <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so let's shake our hands out because they've been wrapped around the cap. Good. Now we're going to push our hands down into our thighs and lift our fingertips up and spread them nice and wide because they've been wrapped around the bottle and they've been wrapped around the cap. So now we want our hands to go back to a resting length. 
and we sit nice and tall and we are so happy that you joined us today but I can tell you I'm getting a little thirsty before our stretch how about you me too okay so when we bend down we're going to take our hand and we're going to your glasses Ooh, there we go <laughs> thank you thank you oh, and we take a nice drink mm. Wow, that's good. Nectar of the gods. That water is mighty good. And water is good for your skin, your internal organs. Every, everything. Water is great for you. Okay. Now, because we've been doing our work, we want to make sure that we have a nice stretch. We really work those hands. So what we're going to do is put a hand palm up. And with this hand, we're going to pull those fingers back. Can you feel that a little bit? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice I'm pulling a little bit. Carol's really got a nice stretch. And look at it. Are you double jointed? Wow. Maybe. Ben, Whoa. Look at you that. Don't, you don't have to be like that. You can be like. <gasps> I don't think I can do that. No, you can be like me. <laughs> <laughs> take this hand and we pull the fingers back there you go because you want your hand to stretch out so it's not wrapped around feel it. can you feel that oh, nice stretch? Yeah. can you feel that yes. stretch a little bit not only in your fingers but in your palm right. and all the way to the all wrist all the way to the wrist you're exactly right. you're doing a great job excellent and then we're going to hold it right here we're going to extend the leg Hand on the knee for support. We breathe in and lengthen the spine. We're going to stretch out our back. Because sometimes when we do abdominal exercises, our back goes, okay, I've been helping out here. So we need to say, we're sorry. And we slide the hands down. And go as far down as you can go. Great job. And slowly up. Wow, we have a whole bunch of different levels. So you're going to be like one of us. Breathe in, breathe out, and slowly reach down. Look at the flexibility range here. So no matter where you are, you're perfect. Slowly come up. And we're going to turn to the side. Nice, beautiful, long spine. Good job. And then we're going to come back to center and turn to the other side. Beautiful, long spines. Good job. Come right back to center. Let's shake out our cares and worries. Let's take a great big breath in. And as we exhale, we know that all, all will, will be well. well. Good job. Yay. Thank you Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.